Now, last night, I was、uh, thinking about how lucky I was the last time when I glued this piece right here, the little black piece that you see down there. That has to go right here where you see this sort of like a little piece of white, white、uh, plastic showing through. Okay, it has to go right on there at a bit of an angle. Now, I've got this thing adjusted at an angle like this. So that, the, so that when the little piece is sitting perpendicular on the top there, it's going to be at about the right angle, but not be pulled over one way or the other by gravity. Like you'd wonder how could gravity possibly you know, have any effect on something this small?、Um, now, whether we're going to get away with this or not, I don't know. And I was thinking, well, what, what if I can't get it? What if I just simply can't get it? So this morning I thought, well, I guess what I could do is I could, you know, remove all the paint off of this and using Windex and my ultrasonic cleaner and stuff like that, I can probably get it right down to the bare plastic again. And, and then what I could do is where this little white mark is that you see here, at least I hope you can see it. Is、uh, I, I would drill a, a hole down, and the hole I would drill would sort of accommodate. <clears throat> I don't know, can you see this okay? <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice is.、Uh, <laughs> I'm, getting, I'm getting old man voice. There's nothing I can do about it.、Um, yeah, so I'll dr drill a little hole. Now, probably I would nip it off more. Where the tweezer is holding it, right there. And then I would drill a hole about that diameter down inside here and poke, poke this thing down into the hole. And then, after it's,、uh, I don't know, I'd have to be careful when I glue it、uh, that I didn't dissolve it because these, these pieces are so small.、Uh, I, I, know, I, know you, I know you think they're big, but they're not, they are so small. Extra thin would completely dissolve something like this in about、uh, a minute if you put too much on.、Um, where was I going with this? Anyway, then, after, then afterwards I would nip it off about the right length.、Uh, it would probably be a lot stronger than trying to glue this back on. But anyway, I'm going to go with. I notice it's sticking to my tweezer. I better clean my tweezers off. Probably got some sort of、uh, masking tape gum or something on there. Anyway,、uh, yeah, let, let's first try and see if we can't just glue this back on. At least that's the plan. Now, the idea is I'm going to take a little sample of CA medium and just put it on that white, white spot right there, that bare plastic. At least I'm assuming it's bare plastic. It, it could be that it's, it's、uh, CA glue, but I think it's basically bare plastic. And then take the little part and try and put it on. Well, my, my, my theory is you know how if you break a piece of china,、uh, like a plate or something like that, and you're trying to glue it back together, if you get it back exactly the same way it broke, and of course if you're using the right sort of Of glue, you can glue it together pretty strong because all the all the parts are matching, it's mating together the way it came apart. came apart And <clears throat> my thinking is is it possible for me to get this little piece down here positioned exactly the same way? And I've sort of concluded, well, I probably can't. So, so my next thought was, why don't I take and and just sort of You know, flatten this this top off, and then it, and then maybe take the little piece and sort of flatten the this the 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 other side that's going to be touching, if you know what I mean. And then they they would just sort of sit one on the other. But then I'm probably going to shorten everything as well. But I'm, I'm sort of leaning against maybe just taking my fine my fine sanding stick here and just sort of flatten this out and. Uh, let's just see what'll happen here. I'm not going to press very hard. Sort of 
take any real high spots off that might be, uh, you know, holding it from, uh, you know, sitting on there. Maybe I should be using the medium sanding stick. Just that I'm afraid the medium, uh, the grit is, is so uh, much coarser than the fine. And I, I wouldn't want it to, uh, you know, catch it and pull everything crooked. Whereas right now I think it's basically staying the way it's supposed to here. Okay, well I do believe I w would have, uh, you can see the, the uh, with my little brush. Okay, you, you can see the uh, powder on the sides there, which means that I did take something off. Either that or it's grit from the sand paper, sanding stick. Okay, now I, I'm going to probably have to do the, uh, the other piece off camera. It's just going to be too hard to set everything up. Uh, let's see what we can do here. We'll be back in a moment. Okay. Now if I have this thing set to its minimum magnification, when it's right down adjusted the way it is, the green cloth is perfectly in focus. If I try to increase the magnification, then I have to raise the subject up a bit. Uh, so uh, I'm sure that minimum magnification is going to be just fine here. Now, unfortunately, I can't show you what I'm seeing. I wish I could. Yeah, I kind of filed that kind of flat. It's slightly rounded over. Maybe different tweezers here. Now I've got to be careful not to squeeze too hard or what's going to happen is I'm going to bend it out of shape. You know what? I, I don't think that it would be a good idea to try and flatten that off because I can see right now that from the shape of it, it's probably going to fit pretty good. You know what, I'll, I'll stick the macro lens on. I, you, I can't guarantee you're going to be able to see, to see what's going on here, but we'll give it a whirl. Now, because I'm viewing this in stereo, plus about eight times more powerful than you are, I'm able to see Okay, let's not do that again. At least it didn't go very far. It only went about two inches away. Maybe I'll do it like this instead of trying to pick it up. I'll just poke it around. You know how good I am at poking here. Now, where I started to say is... I'm trying to get this <clears throat> there. Now, I, I can see that, that this area that's going to glue on, on here is concaved. And I can also see that this little white area is a little bit dome-shaped or convexed. And I can well imagine that when I put this onto here, it's going to want to stick on there pretty good as long as I can get it, you know, you know, square in the right place. At least that's the plan. Now, I know right away you're thinking I'm making a mountain out of a molehill. But as I've said so many times before, this is what interests me. I am just taking you along for the ride. Uh, and, uh, and if it interests you, well, great. If not, well, too bad. There's other model ch channels that are a whole lot more educational than mine. 
And uh, I'm just doing this for the fun of it, guys. So uh, this is what I do. I'm not making excuses for myself, and I don't expect anybody to comment and say, oh, Ron, we're on your side, or and all that kind of stuff. Um, anyway, enough, of, enough about that. Let's uh, see if we can glue this on here. Okay, here we are, kind of back the way we were. Now, I want to do a, a bit of a dry run here first, because uh, once I get the little droplet of uh, CA on here, I don't have that long before it starts to cure, even though that this is the medium we're going to be using. Probably have about a minute or two of working time. Now our little our little piece here is rectangular shape. It's not it's not round. If it was round, I could put it on. Wouldn't matter how I put it on. But it it, it is rectangular, and I th and it also it goes on better one way than the other. You know, it's trying to get it. Oh, see, my problem is I'm, I'm scared of squeezing it too hard in case I squash it out of shape. And uh, okay, now, wait. Okay. All right. Now I can see right now I'm going to have to turn this thing about twenty five degrees or so so we can get it at the right angle okay now it's not straight up and down though okay so when I put this on I want it to be completely you might say vertical now, I think that's going to be just about right all right now let me uh, <clears throat> I've been meaning to get myself a some locking pliers here Oh, that won't work. Oh, thought maybe I lost it there. Must be a better way to do this. You know, that's almost coming off the end. And if this if this thing pings on the floor, I'll never find it. Um, okay, there we go. All right. I'm going to get the macro lens on and uh, maybe I should get myself lined up here with some of this uh, medium. don't need very much. Okay, there's two drops. Okay. Now I just want to put just a little tiny bit just on the top there. Okay, I have managed to get the alligator clip off of there. I hope I didn't bump that out of place. That oh, looks alright. Now we want to just put this right down on top of there and let go. Can you still see it? Okay. Uh, from my perspective, it looks really good. It's It could maybe lean a little bit towards you. Just a tiny bit. There. Uh, right now, it, it I know it doesn't look straight to you probably, but it, it is actually straight. Um, at least the axis that's supposed to be straight is straight and the other one I don't know maybe I put a little bit too much let's go back it's hard to get it just right okay let's just let that cure okay I guess about uh, five minutes has passed here and I'm pretty sure that that's uh, not going to fall over. Now what I want to do here is just reinforce around the base. Ok, 
Okay. Now I think once that cures, it's going to be, well, not as good as it was when it was, you know, before I broke it the first time. But I think it'll be all right. Then we'll just maybe see if we need to repaint a little bit. Maybe the number 66 gray. I don't think I want to mess around with the black. Although it, there are some little scratches on there from the tweezer. Now is the time that I kind of have the desire to try out that homemade curing agent. You know, I take one of Tennessee Jim's mini Q-tips here and just just touch it on there. But I'm I'm afraid that what would probably happen is I'd end up making a mess of it. I'm pretty sure that it's you know that it's yeah it's it's on there pretty strong right now. I think we'll just let this cure naturally. Okay, this is the number 66 gray. And if I get it up on the black, it won't be the end of the world because we can always, with the black, come back down to the gray. The idea is just to get rid of that uh, glinting CA glue. Okay, looks a little bit lumpy right there, doesn't it? Maybe the paint was starting to dry out on my brush. I'll just sort of pool it on and let it sort of shrink wrap itself down around everything later. Okay, let's uh, let's just leave that well enough alone. Whoops, I bumped it. Can you still see it? Yep, it's okay. I got parts sticking out all over the place here that I can easily catch my hand on. It, it appears that it's almost starting to dry already. Okay, we'll leave that for a few minutes and then we'll we'll come at it with the black and go down to the gray. Okay, here we are with our XF1 flat black. You know, I think, whoops, I bumped it again. I think we should quit while the quitting's good here. Yeah, let's quit while the quitting's good. Okay. Now, it is my intention, and I don't know if it's going to work, but it's my intention to not grab hold of this with my fingers. That's how I broke it off the last time. Whoops. Okay, now, if you remember, the hole in the deck was just too, a little bit too big. So let's just uh, carefully see how how large a bit we need or maybe I should say how small a bit we need oh Ron
Yeah, I'm gonna hold it further down. I gotta get myself a pair of those locking tweezers. Okay, so it's 48 thousandths. So we get maybe 50 thousandths, uh, or even slightly bigger. That, that should be all right. I'm sure I'll be able to find something in here that's uh, pretty close. Okay, you're back over on the other side again. And I did find a bit, but it was almost exactly the same size as the as the uh, peg that we have to try and stick in here. And uh, I know I could be using my pin vise, but I think this is going to work out all right. Now, my thinking is if I enlarge this hole just a little bit like this, okay, I think we're probably big enough, plus the extra thin was going to enlarge the hole a little bit. Okay, yeah, I think we've got that's pretty good. Now, do have to be careful that we don't break anything off here again. All right. Now, I really do think we're going to have better luck unless I drop this. Remember the uh, protrusion has to go towards the bow which is to your right. Oh, come on. Why can't I get this? Oh, maybe I'll just drop it in place and then twist it right later. Now carefully, carefully, carefully. I'm pretty sure that's uh, maybe it could swing a little bit more clockwise. There we go. I think it maybe has to lean just a little bit this way. Okay, how is it the other way? Oh, it looks pretty good. Okay, let's let it cure. No, I think I moved it too much forward. Let's just move it back a little here. Now, I know I didn't show it being done, but I was noticing afterwards that our glue joint that we just did was looking a little bit, you might say, crispy. Um, so what I did was I, I put a little bit of uh, extra thin right on the joint, let it sort of flood around. Most of it's evaporated away now already. But I, I do believe that we probably have a, a stronger connection uh, unless I keep poking at it and uh, wiggle it loose again. Okay, let's just leave that and uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be fine. And, you know, unless I break it off or something, but I, which which could happen. I mean, these these things are sticking out all over the place, and I we got to do a lot of work around here yet. Now we are going to have to unexpectedly jump back to step 45, but we're going to have to do that tomorrow because it'll take a little bit of time to do it. Um, however, one of the viewers mentioned that. Because I put this part on, which turns out to be the Admiral's toilet, the wrong way around, Admiral's going to be mad at me, it could be that this part is not going to uh, fit properly now because the rounded edges are where the, where the square edges should be. So I'll, I'll just move you in a little closer here and let's see if we can see if this is going to work or not. Okay, well, you can see here where this part is going to have to go right there, and this is going to have to fit in there. I don't know if it's going to make any difference or not. I, I don't think it will. 
I think we're I think we're I think we're going to be lucky here with this. It, it doesn't appear to me. No, I, I don't think it's going to affect us. Let's just let's just try it on here now and see if it. I think we're going to get away with it. As long as I don't accidentally break our little uh, aerial thing off again. Yeah, okay. Well, that's it for today, folks. Thanks for watching, and all being well, we'll see you tomorrow.